Intercultural Friendship Dinner, co-organized by Intercultural Dialogue Institute, Holy Blossom Temple. My name is Sumey Aydın, and I'm, all, I'm the Youth Coordinator, coordinator at IDIGTA, and I'm also will be the, your uh, MC tonight. As you may already know, Ramadan is a holy time for Muslims, a month of fasting. Actual fasting is a pre present in almost every faith tradition, this way or another. It's a way of self-discipline and offering thanks to the Lord for all the bounties He has offered to us. Humans are created to love one another, and there are ways to show your life. And sharing is maybe the best way to show it. Be it sharing a smile, opening the door for a stranger, giving your seat in a in the streetcar to a stranger, you name it. In this regard, every year the Intercultural Dialogue Institute, GTA, hosts a series of community iftars, fast-breaking dinners during the month of Ramadan. Iftar dinners bring together people of various faith and ethnocultural backgrounds and serve as a means of fostering dialogue and cross-cultural awareness. They address various topics related to the common teachings and values in different faith traditions and cultures. This year, the Institute partnered with five other institutions to organize iftar dinners throughout the GTA. I'm happy to say that this is our third iftar dinner at Holy Blossom Temple. As a result of this great partnership, we also have a great turnout tonight. Thanks for sharing your time with us tonight. If you would like more information, you are more than welcome to the chat the website ramadandinners.ca for further details. To start with tonight's program, I would like to invite Rabbi Michael Sutz to provide welcome remarks on behalf of Holy Blossom Temple. Bruchim Habahim, welcome. Shalom Aleichem, Salam Aleichem. Welcome to Holy Blossom Temple. It's our great uh, honor and pleasure to be a host again uh, this year for our, an Iftar program. Um, Holy Blossom has had a, a great history of uh, coming together with, with people of all faiths uh, to work for understanding, for tolerance, and, and for justice. And I'm looking forward to uh, talking about that tonight. Um, but really, the most important thing, I think, is eating together. Uh, eating together is how you really create communities. We all know, as people of faith, that coming together for a, a festive meal is really uh, what brings families together, what brings communities together, what brings neighbors together, and in, we're blessed to live in a pluralistic society where where people of different religions, people of different ideas, people of, of different ethnic backgrounds can come together and eat together in not always agreeing with each other, not always uh, uh, seeing things together, but when you sit across from someone and eat together, you can't hate each other. You, you create something new, and that new thing that you create, that new community that you create spreads. And uh, I, I so admire the Intercultural Dialogue Institute that uh, uh, see, sees it as their mission to uh, spread new communities throughout uh, Canada, throughout the world. And it's, it's been my honor. Um, I've been here at Holy Blossom for five years and I first uh, met uh, the, the fine people at IDI uh, five years ago, and it's been one of the great honors of my uh, rabbinate here to be uh, involved uh, with this initiative. So welcome, thank you. Good evening, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. 
On behalf of the Board of Directors and the entire team of the Intercultural Dialogue Institute, I would like to extend my warmest welcome to all of you. Thank you for making this event very special with your presence. Ramadan Kelly. Ramadan is a special and holiest month of the year for all 1.3 billion Muslims throughout the world. During this month, adult and half Muslims fast by abstaining from drinking and eating from dawn to sunset and pay special attention to their piety. Yet, there is more than just not eating and not drinking to the fast of Ramadan. It is a time for inner reflection, knowing the reason why we came to this world. Devotion to God, self-control and training to be a better moral person. Muslims think of Ramadan as, as a kind of tuna for their spiritual lives. However, apart from being the month of prayers, supplications and spiritual purification, Ramadan has a strong social community aspects. On the one hand, it is a way of experiencing hunger and developing empathy for the less fortunate and learning thankfulness and appreciation for all of God's bounties. On the other hand, Ramadan is the way of developing a sense of community. People are more generous, more cordial, friendlier and more ready than other times of the year to do good and charitable work. Muslims or Muslims often invite their neighbors, friends, colleagues and one another to share evening meals exchange gifts and best wishes. Actually, this is also the first time when Prophet Muhammad migrated from Mecca to Medina, the first thing he said to the people of Medina, spread the greetings. Salam is peace as it's in Hebrew also, shalom. So with exchanging gifts to one another, also love is created. <coughs> Breaking fast with people from different cultures and faith traditions is one of these important practices. In fact, it is the inter, uh, it is this interfaith and intercultural dimension of Ramadan, which we believe is essential to this evening and to all the Ramadan iftar dinners that our institute has been organizing for the last four years. Because these events serve as another means of promoting dialogue and building bridges of understanding and peace in this regard, it is an imperative for all of us as members of truly global community to come together around the common values and the references while acknowledging the variety of our beliefs and the practices. At this point, I would like to share the story of Intercultural Dialogue Institute with you. The Institute was founded in 2005 with the simple idea of reducing false stereotypes, prejudices, and unjustified fears through direct human communication. Having this in mind, the first activity we organized was interfaith dinner in the month of Ramadan. Based on the virtue of hospitality and by breaking bread together, we witnessed a huge transformation around us. Therefore, it is important not to underestimate the impact of sharing a meal. Together, listening and responding with openness and respect, we can move forward to work in ways that acknowledge genuine differences to build on shared hopes and values, to attain peace and to help bring about the long-awaited cooperation of world civilizations. We have a great deal to learn from one another, to encourage justice, love, respect, and altruism. With that hope, I would like to thank all of you for your participation. Enjoy your rest of the evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mustafa, for your welcome uh, remarks. As I mentioned before, tonight we are a group of people from diverse faith backgrounds. So we would like to give you an introduction about what Ramadan means for the Muslims and how they actually how they actually observe the month. I'm sure many of you might have questions about how Muslim fast. Now we have a presentation about Ramadan that is prepared based on frequently asked questions from non-Muslims. 
to do presentation, I would like to invite Kezacek Tulsun to the stage. So today I'm going to be talking about the very basics of Ramadan and of fasting according to the practices that are conducted um, by Muslims. If I sound out of breath, I'm, I'm sorry about that. That's what happens when you have a baby pushing against her lungs. So I'm also a little excited maybe. Um, all right. So. Where does Ramadan and fasting fit into the Islamic faith? So this is a very basic design. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about the five pillars of Islam. Uh, now, if I, uh, if I were to redesign this image, I would put the declaration of faith at the very front and in the very middle, uh, because I think that this pillar is the one that informs um, all the other pillars of Islam. Um, because when you have faith, that is what informs you. So you do your, your acts of worship um, and your, your commitments based on the fact that you believe that it is a commandment of God. And that, that is the very basic principle that informs all your other actions. The other ones, I'll just quickly go over them, are obligatory prayers, the five daily prayers that Muslims pray, uh, the compulsory giving, um, which is done once every lunar year, the fasting and the pilgrimage to Mecca. And um, so in this presentation, we'll have a deeper look at what fasting is. 